back in, y'all. So the second day of working out, we went to Planet Fitness. Uh, we did not go back to Level Red. We actually didn't go to a traditional boxing gym. And they were talking about some crazy prices out here. Just for a single class to participate in. So I was like, eh, we'll just go to Planet Fitness. So what I did in Planet Fitness, um, of course, I can't do any really boxing. Uh, real, f I can't do anything that's really focused on boxing other than uh, working on my legs. Which I did. I did uh I did the sitting um leg press I did the leg press elliptical uh the leg press machine. I did uh what I did I would do ten reps, hop off, ten jump squats, hop back on, ten reps, hop off, ten jump up squats, hop back on, ten, hop back on, and I did that, that was a set. Um and that's after ten minutes on the uh the uh, the sitting bike, not the sitting bike, but the uh, the the bike, uh, the regular one, not the one where you sit down and you you got the cycle, you got your legs jutted out in front of you. Um, I did that for ten minutes, got a little sweat up. I rolled there with the air conditioning off and the windows down to let my body start warming up naturally. And getting there, it helps out a lot to go to the gym on your way to the gym, start sweating. Roll the windows, you feel to go there to sweat anyway. So windows down. Um, now, unless you're in the dead heat, of, unless you're in the dead of heat of the day, um, I don't suggest doing that. In the you know, if you're in dead heat, but it should be cooling down across the nation, so um, you should be all right doing that. So your body start warming up, and it's easy to start to get your body to break a sweat. Um, then I hopped on the jump rope, and then I was gonna do my uh, my ab wheel, but there's people in the way, so I just I came back here to the to the hotel and um i'm gonna do it here and that's it man nothing eventful but we we're, we're getting we're not being sedentary um I, it's easy to be sedentary it's easy to fall off i've been doing good s since tuesday to, uh today's wednesday i've been doing good about not eating late no no i ate late sunday i didn't eat late monday and i didn't eat late tuesday um Today's Wednesday. Not eating late either. Not eating after seven. I come here. I cook, or I, I already cooked. I, I did shrimp this time. I did shrimp and chicken and green beans. I just want to, you know, mix it up. Um, you get chicken all the time. You get bananas. So tomorrow I might do fish and chicken and um, uh, sweet potatoes. Fish and sweet. Eh, probably not fish and sweet potatoes. I gotta find another veggie. Uh, I, you know, green beans good, but you get tired of green beans all the time. You be like, alright, nigga, dang. And then sweet potatoes and fish don't sound right, <laughs> unless it's fried fish, and then you know that defeats the purpose. So we're not gonna do that. But um, yeah, we're 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 doing what we need to do to maintain as much as possible being away from our gym, our home gym. Like I said, level red was cool, just not my style. Other traditional gyms cost, like uh, you get hit over the head with the pricing, and I was like, ah, no, I'm cool, I'm cool on that. So I think this works. Um, we'll see when I get back, um, and get back to my regimen on Monday, because I'm gonna try to do first thing in the morning, um, and try to do at least four days coming back, and then after a couple weeks of that, we'll move to five, and then we'll move to six after that. And, so forth and so on, so we can accelerate our fat loss. So, until next time, guys. Until next episode. Back in, y'all. So, the second day of working out, we went to Planet Fitness. Uh, we did not go back to Level Red. We actually didn't go to a traditional boxing gym. They were talking about some crazy prices out here. Just for a single class to participate in, so... I was like, eh, we'll just go to Planet Fitness. So what I did in Planet Fitness, um, of course, I can't do any really boxing. Uh, real, f I can't do anything that's really focused on boxing other than uh, working on my legs, which I did. I did. Uh, I did the sitting um, leg press. I did the leg press elliptical. Uh, the leg press machine. I did. Uh, what I did, I would do ten reps. Hop off, 10 jump squats, hop back on, 10 reps, hop off, 10 jump squats, hop back on, 10, hop back on. And I did that. That was a set. 
Um, and that's after 10 minutes on the, uh, the, uh, the sitting bike, not the sitting bike, but the, uh, the, the bike, uh, the regular one, not the one where you sit down and you, you got to cycle, you got your legs jutted out in front of you. Um, I did that for 10 minutes, got a little sweat up. I rode there with the air conditioning off and the windows down to let my body start warming up naturally and getting there. It helps out a lot to go to the gym on your way to the gym, start sweating. Well, the windows, you feel to go there and sweat anyway, so windows down. Um, now, unless you're in the dead heat, of, unless you're in the dead of heat of the day, um, I don't suggest doing that. In the you know, if you're in dead heat, but it should be cooling down across the nation, so um, you should be all right doing that. So your body start warming up, and it's easy to start to get your body to break a sweat. Um, then I hopped on the jump rope, and then I was gonna do my. Uh, my ab will, but those people in the way. So I just I came back here to the to the hotel, and um, I'm gonna do it here. And that's it, man. Nothing eventful, but we we we're, we're getting we're not being sedentary. Um, I, it's easy to be sedentary. It's easy to fall off. I've been doing good since Tuesday. It's, uh, today's Wednesday. I've been doing good about not eating late. No, no, I ate late Sunday. I didn't eat late Monday, and I didn't eat late Tuesday. Um, today's Wednesday. Not eating late either. Not eating after 7. I come here. I cook, or I, I already cooked. I, I did shrimp this time. I did shrimp and chicken and green beans. I just want to, you know, mix it up. Um, you get chicken all the time. You get the bananas. So tomorrow I might do fish and chicken and um, uh, sweet potatoes. Fish and sweet, eh, probably not fish and sweet potatoes. I gotta find another veggie. Uh, I, you know, green beans good, but you get tired of green beans all the time. You be like, all right, nigga, dang. And then sweet potatoes and fish don't sound right. <laughs> Unless it's fried fish, and then, you know, that defeats the purpose, so we're not gonna do that. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing what we need to do to maintain as much as possible being away from our gym, our home gym. Like I said, Level Red was cool, just not my style. Other traditional gyms cost, like, you get hit over the head with the pricing. And I was like, ah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. So I think this works. Um, we'll see when I get back um, and get back to my regimen on Monday. Because I'm going to try to do first thing in the morning um, and try to do at least four days coming back and then. After a couple weeks of that, we'll move to five, and then we'll move to six after that, and so forth and so on, so we can accelerate our fat loss. So, until next time, guys. Until next episode. What's happening to the nation? Welcome back to my black universe. I'm back home on a Monday morning. Not a Tuesday evening, not a Monday evening. Tired. I got there late, so I didn't, I didn't even make the warm up. Like, by the time I got my hands up, which I gotta. <laughs> good, uh, good workout. Good one. Doing more combinations. Good work out, this is good work out. Alright. Alright. Alright, Vincent. Alright, take it easy, man. Alright, Chief. Enjoy your time in New York, man. It was only four of us this morning. But uh, I'm, so I'm glad I came. When I hop in the video, got this this code area. I said I got the got the Texas Tech. 
hoodie on, so hold on one second. serenade job nothing like that trying to get that in a minute but circuit was different today it was just four of us everybody was we did uh kind of the group thing uh punch drills on the heavy bags first uh we did the left right uh, step back, come back in, left, right, left, right, step back, come back in, you know, add two more, you know, left, right, left, right, three times, then four times, then five times, and then five times, four times, three times, two times, one time, and then go back up until the in, in the mirror, interim, <laughs> in the mirror, yeah, it's a new word, y'all, in the mirror, to the interim bell, uh, then, we did double jab, did jab right, then double jab right, then triple jab right, then quadruple jab right, and you know, five. Then we did a, no, we went up to four, and then you go back down, then back up, back down. Did the same thing with the power hand. And then we uh, we went to circuit, and in the circuit drill, we, uh, some different, when we did the mitts, since it was so few of us, you do mid work, and this time it was intense because I had no no partner, just me. He's pushed me. Left, right, right, left, right, and it's uh straight hook, right, straight hook, straight. You know, straight right hand, left hook, straight right hand. Then um uh, uh shoot, man, it was right, left, right, ten. Give me ten. Boom, 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 boom. Triple jab, boom, right. And typically my double jabs and my triple jabs, yes, you do that, it's gonna be followed or straight right. So you're doing that, and this there's nobody to all right, good, and then he switches over. No. Let's go, let's go. It's good. And then I was to get up. I just never get up for work. And then uh this time it was like, shoot. When I finally took a break, man, I'm simply I'm tanked, but this time being tanked, this is week eight. This is week eight. Yeah, yeah. Being tanked this time as opposed to when I first started. Man, I'd be tanked out to about five good punches and movement. Now it's like I'm going 30, 40, 50 punches now. And then it's like, all right, all right, bro. <laughs> You're pushing it. But that's the point of it is to keep pushing myself to better health. Because, um, a lot of people, man, they ain't making it, man. They 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 dying young. They're dying young. That's the biggest thing for me, guys. Is dying young and leaving my children to deal with this racist ass planet by themselves, with no God, no protector for them until they're of age where they can accurately and, and uh, methodically protect themselves. And I just don't want that, man. That's the biggest thing, man. I just people. Dying in their thirties now, you know people that I went to school with, they graduated after me, that are dying. That's young. That's young as fuck. If you're not in your eighties, damn your seventies. I don't think this alone. If you're not in your mid to late eighties, no, uh, dying. I don't. It's not reasonable for me. You know, there's unsaid accidents, freak accidents, and all that stuff like that. Okay, cool. You couldn't do nothing about that, man. But your health, man, fuck that, man. Get healthy. Fuck the bullshit. Get healthy. All right? And, and healthy ain't got to be what you see on TV, man. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm in a lot of better health than a lot of these so-called in-shape-looking cats. My cardio stay on point now. Uh, I'm physically stronger. Uh, I can move. Um... Am I in the the peak of my health? No. So I got a long way to go, man. But damn. I just, I don't want to be dead in my 30s, my 40s, my 50s. I want to be 80, 90, 100. 
I want to be extra. I want to be 126 when I go. So when I go, I can be like, look, man, time limit. I'm good. I'm ready to go home. Let me let, let me leave. But man, it's, it's no reason to die young, man. Y'all can change your fucking lifestyle. Fuck your so-called friends. They, if they are anybody that wants to perpetuate you being in a sedentary lifestyle that will involve you leaving this planet early, obese, popping pills like a junkie because you got to take blood pressure pills, diabetes pills. And all that stuff, man. That fuck them people, man. They ain't your friend. But I'm rambling on, man. So this day is in the books. Wednesday. This is my, still my first week. We're doing four days. I got Friday and I got Saturday. Man, oh, man. Getting up, though. Saturday won't be so bad because I don't, I don't have to wake up till 7.30. But getting up at 4.45, 4.30, 4.45 the class, man, is something else. Something else, man. Peace and blessings until next episode. Happened to the next report in a bit. So, we got my man Trevor over here at the University of Hard Knocks. So, Trevor, why do you choose to box as opposed to, you know, the weightlifting, cross country, any of these other workouts? Why boxing? I like that it's a skill. I like that I'm coming in here and every single day I'm working on something and I can tell that I'm getting better and I'm not just there staring in a mirror lifting weights and running, trying to just think about nothing. I'm actually in here and I know that every single thing I do matters. Every single thing I do has an application. When I go and I get in the rain, I work with someone or I spar or anything like that, I know that I'm developing a skill and it's keeping me in shape. Okay, okay. How long have you been boxing? Uh, about a year. About a year? About, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, I see you in the ring, you know you do the body spar. Yeah, yeah, so... So when, okay. so when did you decide to jump into that? How long were you into, into the training? So I've been here for...
for probably about three or four weeks at that point, and then I was just watching the guys spar one day. I was, I was having a good time, just enjoying seeing it, and uh, Pauly came over to me, and he was like, hey, man, why don't you just get in? And I was, I was kind of scared, but uh, okay. as soon as the first time I, I landed in the shot, as soon as the first time the shot landed on me, I got addicted to it. So it was a lot of fun. Ah, so it's... So it's a, it's a give and take type situation. Yeah, exactly. And it's a chance to really, you know, put everything that you're working on in, uh, together and use it all at once. Okay. All right, awesome, man. All right, well, Trevor, thanks for the interview, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, man. All right, you guys come to the University of Hard Knock. Over here on Camp Bowie, right across the street from the Horizons in Fort Worth, Texas. Peace and blessings. What's happening, family? So this is week seven, day three done. There was not a day four. And let me explain why. So on Friday... 18th, my wife woke up, she said she wasn't feeling good. Well. My wife gets my kids ready, my oldest takes the bus, my other two get dropped off. All three of them are different schools. So, dad had to forego training, I was up, I had my bag ready, I was up before the long because she woke me up, she said she wasn't feeling right. At that moment, I knew. I wasn't going to be in the gym. Because I want to give you guys that experience to let you know how my body feels and reacts to that. After doing four days of training, I'm going to go over. Good work, good work. Good work, you know, I got my So cool. It ain't hot yet. Hot outside no more. Bam. So it's got sea moss, strawberries, um, a little bit of pineapple, almond milk, and peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter cup protein from plants and um, Organifi the green stuff. I actually need to order some more today. You did it in. I have to keep that on deck. It does help over time. So. Yeah. Good workout. Doing way more combinations. Way, way, way more combinations. Week 7. Official week 7. Uh, my time in North Carolina, I'm not going to count that because I wasn't really in the gym. I didn't really get the workout I wanted to. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, man, um, a lot more combinations. I'm doing combinations and movement to the point where I'm having to tell them, whoa, okay, I, I need to breathe. I, I got to, because I try to, I try to, I try to breathe through my nose, exhale through my mouth, boom, when I'm, when I make, com uh, when I make contact. So I try to breathe through my nose exhale, and train my lungs. I, I, my whole thing is training my lungs, get my X max where it needs to be so I can, uh, Continue to throw combinations because uh, Polly said it best. If you can't fight when you're tired, then you can't fight. And uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. So that's it, man. I'm loving this. I loved, I wish I was doing this back in, in you know, middle school and high school. You know, if, that's, if I could change one thing, that's the only thing I would change. I, you know, I wouldn't, even if the, the idea of going pro never crossed my mind, um, just the, the training alone, the confidence that comes with it. Boxing is where it's at. So I'm going to say it's just this. There's a children's class. It starts at 10 on Saturdays. Come bring your kid up here. Come bring your kid up here. And right across the street from the O'Reilly's on uh, Camp Bowie. Oh, uh, in fact, let me show you. Don't want to bullshit. <clears throat> Riley's. You see Hunter signs right here. And then right next to it, the sun is shining like mud, though. It's not hot outside, but the sun is shining like mud. And there it is. University of Hard Knocks. So get your babies in here, man. That's a young man in the box in here right now. I guarantee you he ain't getting bullied. All right? I, I, I guarantee you he ain't getting bullied. He got there in the ring. I should have got some footage. He got there in the ring body sparring with a grown man and held his own so if you got a baby you got single mothers you got a son you're getting picked on you don't know what to do you bring him here fuck all them video games i'm saying right there you two my my baby but fuck all them video games bring his ass here change his diet lean protein more veggies and bring him here so he can gain confidence so he can gain a skill set, so he can believe in the. Six a.m. Wrapped up. Go.
Got Gene right there. Early morning class on the Monday. We're getting to it. Let's go, John. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even know for like another 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's your boy, Big Vic. Welcome back to the channel. So, we got an interview with the very first, the absolute first customer. At the University of Hard Knocks, Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian, what's going on, sir? How you doing, man? All right, so I asked everyone this question. Uh, why boxing as opposed to aerobics, weightlifting, anything like that? Why boxing? It's this workout. You know, I tried I tried just about every kind of workout growing up. And I found, I didn't find boxing until I was about uh, 29 years old. And it was a huge game changer for me because it, Every day you walk into the gym, it's a personal challenge against yourself. Ooh. You know, and so you're ra you're just you're racing against your own clock. Okay. And so it's technique, it's energy savings, it's generating power, okay. and it's one of the hardest sports in the world to play. It's real hard to play boxing to get up in there like a guy in the gym yeah. like you, yeah. who's who can, who can hit like a mule. No, hey, this dude is like a tank. <laughs> it's like a tank. No. So, so I just fell in love with it. Okay, so you got some special people here with you, though. Yeah. And you come training. Do you think your son wouldn't mind doing an interview? Huh? Brady. Come here. That's my 14 year old son. That's your 14 year old son. Okay. Yeah, that's Brady. Right. Now, Mr. Brady, you come sure. in here, if you box. I've seen you, I've seen you before, I've seen your dad. I believe you've seen your mom. Now, why do you choose boxing? So you just saw dad do it, and I'm going to do this soon? So I played baseball and all that, but I never really got into that. Okay. And so then when I tried boxing, I found something that I liked. Okay. And something that I could get better at. So I decided I would do that. Okay. And uh, yeah. So since this past summer, I've been coming. Okay. You say you're 14 year middle school. Uh, I'm uh, right in high school. Freshman. Right. right, right okay. Yeah. Just, just right in freshman. All right. So do all your friends know you box? No. They don't know, so you just your hidden secret. You say I'm not gonna tell them. <laughs> if I don't have to use this skill, I won't use it. Yeah. But if you have to use it, you got the tools. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's this is the cure for bullying. You get your son in the box. Look, look at the dad. Look how tall his 14 year old is. <laughs> this is this is not CGI. They're pranked to the same height. He's 14. He's got what seven more years before you start growing. Yeah. So he's gonna be huge. Yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Well, gentlemen, thank you for the interview. Yeah. Until yeah. next time, thank family. You. Peace and blessings. All right. Family. Mm, 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 mm. It's hard getting up at 445. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. family. Yeah. The workout is done. 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 Oh, oh, oh. The workout is done, is done. I feel good. So I got no, man. So evidently I do hit hard, but man, that's some cats. Man, let me tell you something. There's two white dudes that box in this gym that hit hard. Now one dude, I told y'all about Daryl, y'all saw him in the last interview. From week five, I believe. And that white dude hit it hard. And there's a white dude named Brian who hit a hard and girl. This dude hit harder than girl. So hard. I'm holding the shield. And he going, I'm tired. And he's very physical, which is, is good. Because Let's say I do, because I'm, I'm thinking about it. Going amateur. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm, you know, when I say I'm thinking about it, I'm serious. I'm really thinking about Because I want to see, put my skills into practice, you know. I'm, I'm going to start sparring here pretty soon. Because uh, there's cats that have sparred as little as four weeks. Body sparring, of course. Uh, and then, you know, you start moving to other things. But Brian hits like... A shell from a tank, and it's consistent. It's like a, it's like if you tank a tank, the shell that goes in the tank, they put it in a machine gun, 
with enough bracing to make it accurate within a half of inch tolerance all the way around. That's how Brian hits. Darrell hits you like Darrell's punches like go through your body. They they boom you like shoot. When Brian hits you like fuck. <laughs> you gonna shoot too much. Like damn. Big white dudes, man. But you know, you gotta get physical. The one person I hadn't I hadn't sparred with or uh, held the shield for is Gus. But I heard Gus can move though. I've heard Gus can move. I've seen him do some body sparring. And, and Gus is tough as shit. Gus is tough as nails, tough as rocks, because he'll let cats go. He'll just stand, he'll just stand, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just fire one out real quick, boom. Like, okay, you got comfortable. He's, 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 it's like, he's like, I wouldn't say like Broly. I'm trying to give him a good character. He's like, it's kind of like Escanor, where you going ham on him. And he's letting you do it, but then he just have to hit you one time and let you know, like, don't think shit got sweet. Like, you always be ready for me, because I'm that dude. And so, I, I you know, I, that's what other people, I didn't spar him yet. I ain't got no chill with him. I, I need to do that. But, man, this is a good, uh, good workout. I, you know, every time I come in, I get pushed in one aspect or another. Um. And it's up to me to either fold or rise up to the occasion, you know, mount up and say, all right, I'm, I'm going to bring it back. Even when I get tired, it's like, okay, can I go a little further this time? Can I go a little further this time? You know, doing well on Wednesday. And hopefully I get a chance to work out this Friday because last Friday I didn't get a chance to do this. My wife worked for me. But uh, I want to be able to say, okay. I did the Friday, then I did the Saturday. All right, next week. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I push myself this this far? Can I go even this? You know, that's what it's all about every time. You just get the accurate. Uh, now I'm on heavy bag. Instead of just throwing punches, just walking around, I'm trying to, you know, imagine myself having to set up a shot. Step in with the left, boom. Step to the left. Body, head. And trying to sequence that where it's not... These awkward pauses because in the oh somebody can red. Because of the, uh, a real match with your opponent, if you got a, a skilled opponent, an experienced opponent, they're not gonna let you sequence your punches like that. You're not gonna throw a punch pause and then throw a couple more punches and think you're gonna land them and think you're gonna some clean shots. No, you won't you won't pause and you probably get clipped. They'll probably throw a loop in, right or, or you know what I'm saying. Throw a left down and clip you across the chin. It's, it's a wrap. So it's all about breaking. Um, man. It's all about breaking these bad habits, man. Breaking these really, really bad habits. And so um, that's where we at, man. That's where we at. And um, I'm thinking about moving the Black Boxer Chronicles to my IGTV exclusively and letting that be something where uh, when I do it, I just upload it to IGTV. And I think this this might be the first video on it. Or maybe the video, the precursor to the first set of videos is going to be on there from now on. On my IGTV, so. That being said, guys, till next time, the next episode, peace and blessings. I say. What's happening, people? It's your boy, Big Big. Welcome back to the channel. So, got my man, Tony. The man with the hands, the man's play. Uh, All right, so, Tony. You've been boxing for how long? Uh, about a decade. Uh, Ten years. Why did you choose boxing? Uh, I always felt like when I was young, I needed to do something real. Um, I was going to wrestle, but wrestling was fake, so it made me mad. And I always <laughs> had anger problems, so I needed something to, to, uh, to, to calm me down. Okay, so you control your ankle through your body through the workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Workout definitely because it helps it helps um, distinguish all of it. Yeah. Okay, okay.
Uh, have you always been a tall dude, or was you a little dude at one time? Uh, <laughs> Cats were trying to pick on you. Oh, you always get tested just by being light skinned. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was a young dude. Little, I was little for the most part. I probably hit a growth spurt when I was in like the sixth grade. I was always smaller than my older sister. My older sister, like 10 months older than me, but she was taller than me all the way until I was 13. When I was 13, it was a done deal. Okay, okay. So you got no taller, you started getting your hands right. And it's, did they give you a comp? Did they give you the feeling that you need to prove yourself when you started boxing? Or did you feel like, you know what, I'm not worried about these cats because I know what I can do, I know what I'm capable of? Uh, I don't know. I felt like I felt like I, it was just a build up. Like I just knew it could help get you better and make you stronger and make you, you know. So I just kept with it. I wasn't really ever worried about other people. Never really did uh, I always kind of worried about myself like I hate it feeling weak still to this day I hate it. feeling like I ain't smart enough and stuff like that so I be working on all the weaknesses trying to make them strong. Alright Tony man I know you got to go. For sure. Thanks for the interview. Peace and blessings. Great work y'all. Done. 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 Great work y'all. Great work y'all. Great workout. Hey, great workout. Great workout. Great workout. Great workout. Adequate running away, man. Great workout. Be smoked, slow feet don't eat. We here. We here, baby. Kill me. Kill me. Look, I ain't not getting it, man. After the workout. Workout after the workout. It's University of Hard Knocks. Oh, no, he's, he's got man right here, man. He don't know if he want to compete, but this dude got some power right here, man. Yeah, man, got some power on him. He might as well go and use it. Hey, good, hey, good work, man. Good work. That's Polly's nephew right there. Him and Trevor sparring, full body sparring, like headgear and all that. Yeah, my beard look good, even with the sweat. You know what I'm saying? Turn off that sad music. Oh, man. Ooh, still sweating. Yes, sir. Putting in work after the work, man. Oh, sir, I don't know. I was recording you. Done, man. Headed out. Started to do a night class. I did Thursday nights. I did Monday morning, Wednesday morning, and Thursday night. Man, I didn't want to get up on Friday morning. I got something I got handled. First thing at 8. Damn it, it's right. We can go through that door, right? Yeah. It's raining. It's raining, raining. Oh, what's happening, family? I'm back. It's raining, dip dub, man. University of Hard Knocks. Can't believe it. My dumb man. No one's supposed to be driving the temperature. No one's gonna be raining. So I'm sweaty, as you can see, and it's, that rain feel ice cold, man. Put this toys in there, I don't even need it. So, that's what I'm here doing, Went your wipers. So I did the night class, I did Wednesday morning, Thursday night. I'm not gonna do Friday morning, but I will do Saturday morning for sure, before I head out of town. Uh, yeah, man. Way, way, way better results. During uh, mid-work, I wasn't fatiguing um, in between the mid-work. He was changing stuff for both of us, do some of the things, and, but I went the entire mid-work session without being as gassed as I usually was. Surely way better than my first week, way better than my fourth week. So for this, if you're doing boxing, if you're getting into this, it's gonna take time. Don't kid yourself unless you're just a phenom, young person. If you're old like me, you're, 30, you're in the mid 30s, don't kid yourself. Uh, it's gonna take time. Like today was the first time 
that I was able to do the uh, oh, what's that? The speed bag, both hands, then alternating hands. I go right, then I do both, then I go left, and do it with a little bit more speed. This is the first time, and that's cool. I'm okay with that. You know, meanwhile, if you guys seen the early videos, you got Daryl over there. Uh, if I ever get a chance to uh, shoot JP, JP, he's 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 bobbing, he's bouncing, he's. It takes time. All right, it, it, it takes time, and I'll get there eventually. Where I can, like Bob, I can alternate hands. I can go back and forth, do all the little tricks with it, and all that stuff. But if you ain't got good form, none of it matters. You can flailing your arms around, it don't matter. Good form, good technique. It's all about technique. You'll get fast in time. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, it was great. Uh, yes, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, other than oh, another thing I noticed when I do. The, the night workouts as opposed to the morning workouts, I burn, ultimately I burn more calories or I, I uh, my body stays in burn mode a little bit longer because I'm doing it late and I'm not eating late. Uh, if I do eat, I'll, I'll eat like a cup of fruit, some real light, uh, some uh, cantaloupe or something like that and drink some water or I'll do a protein shake. When I work out in the morning, I'm good at first but then I don't eat them. I'm not eating on time. I'm trying to, you know, rip around. So I, I notice I can get more days in with the mornings, but I prefer the evening workout because when I get out of workout, it's after seven and I'm not supposed to eat after seven. So my body's burning. It's like, okay, well we need something to, you know, to go in, go in here. So, okay, I'll, I'll do something light, really, really light. Uh, just enough for my body to hold or I'll just drink, chug a whole bunch of water. And um, since it's raining, because I need to go get more water. And I need to, uh, that's a possibility. I wasn't thinking, but that's it, people. You know what I'm saying? Just a great workout. Uh, until Saturday, peace and blessings. I just show y'all more footage. All right, champ. Uh-oh. You're going to say peace and blessings. In the morning. So I'm going to get all my stuff now, get my little soaps and all that stuff. But today was a good day. I did the box jump. It made it. Full box jump. Up until now, I would step up. I would kind of run and hop one leg and get up. So I tried to do it full out the first time. Down there bust my face open. Down there bust my face open, man. But uh, this time we got it in. And we got the box jump pop. And uh, it feels great. It feels real good to, you know, see that progress. Because I was filming it today. And I'm hungry. I, I didn't eat anything. I didn't do a protein shake, no oatmeal, which was the wrong idea. Because my body was hurting. My body was like, yo, bro, you said you're trying to throw power shots. You said you're trying to throw power shots. And you have no energy <laughs> to go. But, I, you know, I was like, let me power through. Because if I can train my body. Um, when it doesn't have any, you know, immediate fuel from food, train my body to keep going and, and keep moving. You know, that's kind of like the earmarks of a, of a true fighter, of a true boxer. You got to be able to go when you're tired, when you are at a disadvantage. Can you keep going? Can you keep throwing power shots? Or, you, or will you just curl up and fall over? And so I'm like, let's go. Let's, boom, boom. You know, let's keep going. Then it came to the box jump and it was time I was like... <laughs> I was nervous in the mud, bro. Nervous in the mud, but now I was like, all right, let's go. Boom, boom. Oh, and I hit that. Ah, I was like, Ooh. I did like seven of them in a row. That's a lot of energy, a lot of energy, a lot of oxygen to uh, explode like that. It takes a lot to explode now. So I can imagine I'm being like two months from now when I make four months, you know, a full four months where I'm going to be when I do it again, you know, um, I think, man, it's, it's just to see it come together this, this far along. This journey is, is is so fucking dope, man. It's so dope. My confidence. I'm I'm looking at myself in the mirror when I'm doing my training. I'm my my forearms are getting bigger, and I'm not lifting weights. There's no weight lifting whatsoever going on. It's just 
you know, I do some push-ups when we do, you know, it's time to do push-ups. We do burpees. I hate burpees. I still fucking hate burpees. We do squats, jump squats, sit-ups, uh, touch your toes where you land down as much as I can. I, you know, I still got the stomach in the way. But it's just coming together, man. It's, it just feels so good. Like, I, I really, really, really wish I was boxing when I was in high school. Hell, even middle school. Oh, uh, so for my, my boys, they have no choice. Hey, they just got to be pissed at me. They just got to be real pissed at me, uh, which I don't think they will. I kind of showed my kids some some stuff. My son, Noah, he tend to take to it a little bit better. I'm like, cover up. But, he, you know, I just got to get him to stop putting his head down. He got to teach him, I right, watch your opponent. Even when you're covering up to protect, watch your opponent. Because he'll know to cover up and be like, all right, go for it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mike is a little bit more awkward. You know, he's my tech guy, but... uh. He's going to do all right. And Coco, she ain't going to do. If she see her brother's doing something, she's going to do it too. So it's going to be so dope to have him in that, man. Because I, honestly, I think that's the cure for boxing. It's putting your child in some type of discipline. I mean, the cure for not boxing, but bullying. Put your child under discipline or, uh, where they can defend themselves. Um, I'm not trying to tell everybody, stop bullying, stop bullying. That takes a lot, you know, to get people to stop bullying. Because most people that are bullying um, or getting bullied themselves, but if you can teach your child and put your child in position to not actively defend themselves in a group or be smart enough to see a situation <coughs> and do their best to uh, try to, you know, reroute themselves out of that and they don't necessarily feel the peer pressure of uh, being put in that situation, man, you give your child such an invaluable skill because uh, you got to be able to do that in life. You got to be able to see situations like, all right, you know, because you know when we're all young you you want to hang out you want to party and stuff like that you might be somewhere and you you kill you chilling and you cooling but then you see something like okay this is like this can turn something bad and if it pop off i don't want to be here and become a you know a victim of circumstance and it's just life skills man it, it's just a boxing is a life skill granted i'm 35 but even so i don't necessarily feel like i got, you know i have to let my ego get in the way I know what I'm capable of. You know what I'm saying? That's just after two months. Imagine, you know, two years from now, 10 years from now, when I'm still doing this and I'm still training and I'm 45 years old, still staying in shape. And, you know, no, I'm 55, still staying in shape. It's 65, 75 to the point where, you know, it's like, hey, it's time for me to go. You know, just being able to do this. And, and, and I, I love it. I love it, man. Get in the box. Get in the box, man. Peace and blessing, family. Peace and blessings. Yeah.